Hey guys, I am in the process of refinishing my own floors and uh, I'm trying to do more videos so well, I actually only just thought to make this a video I'm doing a special natural finish on my floors I had a customer a couple of weeks ago that wanted natural but just slightly darker than natural which um, if any of you have done staining before with wood it's kind of like it's natural or it's a big step up so um, the way we achieved that is to use a two component oil based finish um, namely Bonner Craft Oil uh, link in the description um, <clears throat> and then to go over the top with polyurethane so I'm not a big fan of, of oil as a finish I just don't think it lasts very well it's very susceptible to stains so I put this craft oil down and then after you need to give it at least 12 hours to dry and then I apply two coats of Bonner Traffic HD so it's really resilient and hard wearing hopefully I'm not going to need to do it for a long time but before I show you the outcome I'm just going to show you a few of the steps that we went through to uh, to get this finished so it is a bit more of an involved finished a bit more difficult uh, so probably not something for the DIYers but I thought I'd add it as a video anyway hopefully you like it if you do obviously click like and subscribe all of that stuff and um, so uh, let's have a look I decided to do a little voiceover for this video as well. I think it worked out fairly well on the last video on the, the staining floors with the roller video. So um, it also gives me the opportunity to mock myself. Check out those trainers. It's embarrassing. This was the final pass uh, on the trio, the very last bit of sanding. I think it was a hundred grit uh, on the trio maybe 120 I can't remember now and this is me doing the staining now I know I'm rushing at the moment or I've sped up the video and that's just because it, as you can see it's extremely shaky I think uh, my helper was hopped up on caffeine so there we go it's slowed, slowed down a little bit now so I'm using a sprung trowel just to spread the oil over the surface um, I'm not trying to keep it super clean as in um, you know keep that thick wet line to the edge I, I'm, I am leaving a fair amount on the surface just to um, allow it to soak in and to leave some extra for buffing in in the next uh, next stage of the process so with this oil you trowel it on like this um, and then you buff buff it in using a, a buffing pad I, I use a tan pad in this it's not too abrasive um, so you're supposed to leave an excess on the surface in order for you to spread around I end up pouring a little bit extra on the floor just to to give it a bit more to spread around but um, once you have spread it around with the buffing machine you leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you put a towel on as you'll see to uh, buff off the excess also go go around the edge uh, rubbing off the excess with a towel um, and then that needs to dry overnight so it's always a bit of a an issue with these videos like how much do I leave in the video how much do I just cut out or speed up you know, I don't want to make them too long or boring, but also I want people to see what I'm actually doing. So as you can see here, I, I am actually buffing the floor. I've got a tan pad underneath. Um, I don't, uh, you can kind of tell it's, there's not quite enough on the surface. I mean, to the untrained eye, I, I, I guess you can't really tell, but um, I think it skips in a second and then there's much more underneath the buffer that I'm spreading around so I, I've poured more on the surface just a little blob you know you don't want to be swimming in it but at the same time you want as, as you're buffing you want little droplets to be coming off the buffer um, just to show that you're putting enough on the surface for some reason it lost focus here I'm not sure what's don't know what's going on spent a lot on this new camera
It's a very satisfying job, this. Already you're starting to see like the color and variation, which I just love about this floor and this finish. So there I am wrapping, I think I've put a new, a new tan pad, dried tan pad down and wrap a towel around it like that just to buff the excess off the surface. I was so embarrassed about my trainers that I decided to take them off and put these blue things on. They're less embarrassing. Just kidding, obviously you don't want to be in bare socks whilst you're doing this. There you can see my helper just rubbing down the edges, taking off the excess. Now this, I think this is the next day, that I, so I had a good 18 hours to dry. This is why my helper hates me, I think I'm funny. See, look, I'm going to great lengths to try and stop my bum coming out in these videos. But still, my love handles come out enough to poke your eye out. I do apologize. It's gross. That sound is so hollow, it was scary. That's what I was exactly what I was thinking. It's not it's a sound. The roller. Yeah. Something with this roller, for some reason, it sounded really hollow. I cannot remember why that upset me so much, but. So, this is the first coat going over the floor. Um, this is Traffic HD. Uh, link in the description. With Craft Oil 2K, the only thing that you can overcoat it with is Bonner Traffic HD. So you can't just overcoat it with like Bonner Mega. It needs to be the two component. So you can see me rolling the length and then cross rolling. Just going over it in the opposite direction just to keep it nice and smooth, makes it dry evenly. Look, there it is, slow motion, Bonner Traffic HD, the good stuff. Again, I just want to just want to show more of what I'm doing, you know, I don't want to just cut it short. Okay, so that has dried and now buffing before the final coat. This was a uh, 150 grit Bonner Scrad wings. So just think 150 grit sandpaper. Again, if you're doing this, you don't need a buffing machine. I mean, you, you kind of do for the oil, but to a braid between coats, you don't need a buffing machine. You just need a bit of 120, uh, 150 grit paper. This is the final coat. You can see that reflection in the floor just beginning to uh, appear. Super flat. Okay, let's take a look. Hopefully, hopefully you like it. Right, here we go. and shiny well not too shiny matte finish <coughs> whoops had the the microphone the wrong way around um 
so yeah nice clean finish I've left my extractor on to take out the fumes so I'm just going to turn that off quickly so I fit this floor two years ago and um, basically I put a a walnut border around the edge of the herringbone and instead of using the blocks for the border I got some 83 millimeter planks because you don't see that very often at least not in the UK and uh, I think it looks really smart but maybe the difference between this and a normal primer you know you might not think it looks that great but the other thing is, is this camera makes it very yellowy and orangey which is weird I'm gonna try turning off the lights and see how that looks I might add those in. The variation, the definition, the vibrancy. And this is going to be very, very hard wearing, so I'm not going to need to redo this for quite a while. So if you think it looks good, please click like and click subscribe.